so let's see what do i have here close testing 12.1 this is the russian devlog uh what are they doing maximum numbers of bombers on dick has been increased from 12 to 28 what the number of bombers on deck at the start of the battle has been increased from from 12 to 24 huh maximum bomb damage reduced from dude that is nowhere near enough to justify that the maximum number of death air attack aircraft on deck has been increased from 18 to 42 the number of attack aircraft on deck at the start of the battle has been increased from 80 bro nerfing bomb damage by 10 percent does not justify doubling the plane count. What? <laughs> I'm off to a great start with these devlogs. Are you shitting me? Support CVs, by the way. What the fuck? What the fuck? Japanese carrier hear you. The maximum number of bombers on deck has been increased from 14 to 32. The next number of bombers on deck at the start of the battle has been increased from 14 to 27. Again, 10% bomb, but the maximum number of attack aircraft, attack aircraft has been <laughs> from 18 to 42. What are these numbers? The number of attack aircraft on deck has the start from 18 to 30. Hello? Bro. Bro uh, like, we got, we got Wargaming crack with the Kitakami. And then we got Wargaming crack on one side, and then we got fucking Russian vodka on the other side, and it's like fucking Godzilla versus Kong, like the battle of the dents, like who can pull off the bigger bullshit? Uh, it's kind of tied at this point, they both seem exceptionally demented. Jesus, the maximum number of bombers, 14 to 42. But the storage has been increased to 14 to 34. 34? The number of bombs on the plane has been reduced from 8 to 6. Maximum bomb damage reviews from 2.5 to 1.7. So what, just flood them with bomb, flood them with planes? Interesting that this one was nerfed more than the rest, but I assume because it drops 6 bombs? Attack aircraft data. We continue to select the most optimal combination of characteristics of standard squadrons of new aircraft carriers. We want to test a concept where squadrons have a lot of aircraft, but at the same time it does not deal too much damage per rate. Dude, you doubled the plane count and you reduced the damage by 10%. In what fucking world is that not too much damage? Holy shit. It was dropping 96 bombs at a time. So wait, wait, so tier 10 is going to spawn with 34, 64, 66, 100, no, that's maximum. Never mind. 30, 34. I wonder how much it's going to have total planes. But it's going to spawn with like 100 planes. And it's going to it's gonna be able to have like way more than that. Jesus Christ. Ferruccio, the operation. Operating time with full speed smoke has been changed from nerf. The reload time for main battery guns has been increased from 8. So this is a nerf. On EU they nerfed this to 12 from from 9.5 to 12. On Russia they nerfed it from 8 to 10.5. So it still reloads 1.5 seconds faster than on EU. Have fun deplating. Holy shit. Wait, what have they done to Michelangelo? The reload time of the full speed smoke generator consumable has been reduced from What? The reload time for main battery guns has increased from 24 to 27. The reload time... This is still better reload on secondaries than EU. EU is 3.5. EU nerfed that from 3.2 to 3.5. This one is 3.3, but what? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? No, that's not duration. That's reload. The, no, 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 guys, you got it because confusing. This is not how long it's active this is how long uh, it takes to reload it 
So, so you got 30 second downtime between smokes. We can't fucking read. It's fine. It's you, you, World of Warships players. No one expects you to read. It's fine. It's fine. You're excused. But, uh, that's insane. Because, like, you're going to build at least 10% uh, consumable cooldown. So then you're down to, like, 30 seconds? Jesus. That's going to be hilarious. That's going to be absolutely... Like, you're going to be able to change these smokes. You're going to be able... If there's no radar on the enemy team, this thing, thing is going to be so obnoxious. Because remember, this thing has obscene secondary power. This thing is going to be absolute... Dude, I'm tempted to log... Once this patch hits live, I want to log into the Russian server just to see the absolute shit show. The delay between torpedo launches in pipe mode has been reduced from 2 to 1 seconds. Okay. Japanese submarine... Maximum bomb damage. Wait, this was the hybrid submarine, right? This was the hybrid submarine. I-54. Maximum bomb damage increased from 2.5 to 3k. Fire chance reduced. The number of aircraft in a squadron... Yep. Mm. Hybrid submarine? Yes, of course, of course. Why are you surprised? The double Ebola. The metastasized cancer. Where where the sub launches planes as well. So so the, the damage went up, fire chance went down a bit, but you get an extra bomb as well. Jesus. Okay. Well, this was just the first Russian deblog. And I'm already convinced that the vodka they're, they're ingesting is just like laced with, with, with crack. Wargaming crack. Holy shit. This is, these are not dead blogs, these are dented blogs. Dent blogs. Okay, this is their New Year celebration. Let's see what they give, gave you on Russia compared to EU. Because we covered EU, so now I'm curious what, what Russia has done. I should. I need to post the EU thing on on YouTube. Then you can post this this one afterwards for the comparison. Sno in winter, snowflakes can be seen not only outside the window but also on Reddit. I'm sorry, also in our game. In update 12.11, players will receive traditional New Year's battles, battle New Year's rewards for battle results. Okay, coal. I assume this is steel. New Year's certificate. Uh, Super ships also give a certificate and 250 research points. On EU, I think they give just 200 steel. Hmm. Okay. As last year, it was possible to exchange for New Year containers in armory. Premium container, New Year's gift. Premium container. So this is is this Santa gift and giant Santa gift or something? Or is this something different? Wait, this year, based on both statistics and feedback, we decided to reconsider and somewhat simplify our approach to distributing holiday containers. Two new versions of them have been added to the game. Premium containers, New Year's gift, and giant New Year's gift. Only these two types of will be a New Year's gift will be available. So there's no small, big, mega, like on, on EU. Honestly, small, big, mega doesn't make any sense. It's small, medium, large, but whatever. Uh, on Russia, there's only going to be... New Year and Giant New Year. Wonder what the... The appearance and composition of the new containers will be slightly different from last year's. In particular, the probability of a ship falling out of the Giant's New Year's gift has been noticeably increased. It will be not 16, but 20%. So 20% chance of a ship from the Giant. That seems pretty high, actually. 1 in 5? In this regard, the cost of the container was slightly increased compared to last year from 5 to 6 certificates. Old versions of New Year's containers that are still available in our game will remain unchanged. Six times the price? No, it used to be five. This was this was the Mega, which cost five certificates. So it's gone from five to six, but from 16 to 20 percent.
Okay. Well, share details, the compositions, yada yada. Okay. Uh, in version 12.11, the rules for accruing additional rewards has been slightly changed. The pure experience bar for receiving three additional rewards has been reduced from 800 to 600 units pure experience. Okay. Wait, so they, they make it easier to get three rewards. An additional condition has been added. Players who have 600 or more ships will be able to receive six additional rewards. Okay, for, for the pure experience is base experience. Twenty percent more expensive for twenty five percent higher drop chance is pretty good. Yeah, I'm thinking that's actually pretty good as well. I'm thinking that's pretty nice. Hmm. I wonder how many ships I have in Russia. We'll check. We're not going to be playing Russia today, though. Today we're going to be playing NA. Interesting. This event doesn't sound too bad. A special event similar to the Archipelago of Heroes. Okay. A New Year's carnival is taking place in a mansion on the island. Your task is to defeat three guests of the owner of the mansion in amusing sea battles, capturing the... Okay. Yeah, I, f I even forgot to do this last time. But this is like, you, you take our controls, and then you do the mission, and then you get an area, and you basically... I'm, I'm surprised this never made it to EU. Or did was the Archipelago of Heroes on EU? I don't remember. Uh, and they also be completed in operations. Yeah, yeah, you can select, you can capture territories, yada, yada. Battle Pass, 12.11, is also associated with New Year's. In addition to the version-by-version version update of awards, some, much, some of which, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, EU got the might and magic, where you have to pay to conquer. Oh shit, Russian one is actually much better though. Russian one is actually much better, because might and magic was terrible. You, you could move like three squares and then you had to start paying. It was fucking dog shit. Okay. Updated BP interface added a reward for the first level basic blueprint. Or, sorry, battle pass. But that change will also affect power supply subsequent versions. Added a visual highlight of levels with valuable rewards. Added a slider fast movement for BP rewards. Oh, okay. What about the rewards? Okay, they haven't said that. Commanders with special voice acting. Brother January and Brother March for the ships of the Netherlands. <laughs> Is this the Dutch captain? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this man looks like he's going to buy you a beer and then seduce you. <laughs> Holy shit. I kind of want to hear the voice acting for this guy. Holy shit. He's going to buy you a beer, offer you a joint, and then you're going to wake up at his place. Holy shit. Interesting. Permanent camo. Holy shit. Winter war. That's a shit throw camo. Bro, the fact that you can shoot forward or this fucking camo is impressive. This thing is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty cool. Why is this not on E as well? Hello? Holy shit, good and glue. Green. That's a weird color, but somehow it kind of works. Yo, these cameras are pretty cool. They're perma cameras. Huh. Thematic flag and background winter's tail, as well as the symbol snowflake. <laughs> oh man, we need to run the snowflake symbol for sure. A new holiday port. Petrovsky Fort. Nice, they're not fucking fjords, so I can just use fjords instead. Not only a variety of decorations, but also interactive elements will help. Okay. Wait, uh, but also interactive elements will help create the New Year's atmosphere. When you click on them, various animations will play. Yo, they're doing like the inter... The, you can click around stuff in the port and stuff happens. Wait. I wonder if some of the animators are... are I wonder if EU lost some of the animators during when the split happened. Because Russia has now gotten animated portraits of commanders, and now they're getting these interactive ports as well. And we've seen nothing of that in, uh, in, in EU. I, I wonder if, like, EU kind of lost out on some of the... Huh. 
I wonder if they lost out on, on like a lot of the art. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Construction will begin at the shipyard Michelangelo. Wait. Didn't this thing look completely different on EU? Wait, wait, wait. Shit. I thought this one... I think this one looked completely different on, on EU, huh? Let me see. Am I misremembering? Yeah, what? Yo, this one looks so much better. Hello? Oops. What the hell? This one looks so much better. Are you kidding me? There, there's screw. There's screw on 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 this thing. These details here, and then you look at. Uh, there's no crew. The details are little as fuck. Yo, Russia's got the art department. Fuck, that actually sucks. Fuck, this one looks so much better. What the fuck? This one actually looks so much better. Jeez. Look at the amount of flags and stuff like... Yeah, look, this this one only has one, one layer. Honestly, this thing looks like uh, Michelangelo at home. And I mean, look at the details on the smokestack here. The de these details here. And then look at this thing. With all the extra details, the multiple layers of like... Fuck, this one looks so much better. Everything looks better. The turrets as well, they're like black, red, and white. And then the barrel, I think the tips of the barrels are different textures. This one is just basic turrets with nothing special going for them. What the fuck? Wow, that thing is actually so much better looking. Well, that sucks. That fucking sucks. We pay way more and it looks worse, right? That sucks. Hmm. Okay. Well, that fucking sucks. I I'd rather have this thing. This one looks much better. Looks much cooler. Also, like these, these uh, what are they called? Uh, Kranzi, like these decorations. They actually look cool, they look good, whereas these decorations are like... Mm. Dude, they got the art department. That sucks. That fucking sucks. Thank you, Ellen. Fog! Hey! Congrats, dude. That's big. That's huge. Construction will consist of 28 stages, 24 will be completing the ship by your missions. Okay, and the last four you'll have to pay, or first four. Interesting. And you get the Ferruccio on the way, and the Ferruccio on Russia is much better than the Ferruccio on EU, because on EU they nerfed the shit out. Oh, oh yeah, but they put it in their salvage for victory. So that's that's why you can't... Yeah, yeah it's, you can you get it for free on EU. Or on Russia. You get the Ferruccio for free and it's better. Whereas on EU it's in the salvage for victory dog shit, isn't it? Yikes. The Yokerd is also shorter and cheaper than on EU. Jesus. Construction stages can also be purchased 1.8k doubloons each. From starter sets, 10 stages, 10 and 4 stages. Oh yeah, you can buy the 4 stages at 5k dubs. So it's 5k dubs to get the 4 and then you can grind the rest. Reward for completing stage 17 will be Francesco Ferruccio. Yo. I'm so sad we're not getting... This one looks so much better. What the fuck? It looks so much better. Madge. That actually makes me sad. At 12.11, there will be six Blitz events. Some of them you will have the opportunity to try out various mechanics that are designed to diversify the gameplay. Wait, they're adding blitzes? That's like some of the most fun part. Or is that are is it gonna be brawls with custom swings? Let's see. Update 12.11 blitzes. This is brawls then. 8 to 10. 
6 versus 6 on tier 9. You can participate in a squad up to 6. A team can have no more than 2 battleships, 3 crews, and 3 destroyers. Uh, the Blitz will be a qualification for the upcoming Breakthrough Tournament. Interesting. So people are going to try hard. During those two days... Br Thank you, the Demon Lord. Appreciate the 36 months. God damn, that's a long time. Tier 2 as well. So this is like going to be try hard three days of clan battles. Three versus three on tier 10 battleships, destroy cruisers and destroyers. They keep banning subs and CVs on Russia from this game. It's so good. Uh, I love it. You can participate in a squad of up to three people. No team can have more than two ships of each available class. Six versus six on tier eight. You can participate in a squad up to six people. The team can have maximum. Oh, no, they're allowed here. They're allowed here. Increases the maximum speed of all ships by 15. Yo. Okay, that actually sounds pretty fucking fun. Wait, what? <laughs> that actually sounds like fun. Oh, shit. Do okay. I want to play. I want to play in this brawl, even if it has subs and CVs. Fifteen percent faster is going to make it so much harder for CVs to drop you. So they actually have arcade game modes. Yeah. So it it appears that they're actually going this way. Five versus five on tier seven. You can proceed to this division of five. No more than two battleships, two destroyers, and cruisers. In this blitz, you will be able to try out the fog of war again, a mechanic that will appear for the first time in one of the blitzes. Wait, what? Fog of War? Can I get translation? Oh. Fog of War. New mechanics in Blitz. In some Blitz games, you will find a new mechanic for this type of battle, which are designed to diversify the gameplay. All ships will have their combat capability constantly restored. For cruisers and destroyers, at a speed of 0.12, Battleships, in the third blitz you will be able to try the Fog of War. At the beginning of the battle you will not know the composition of the enemy team's ships. The ship name will only be displayed after it has been discovered. Oh shit. Oh, so, so you don't see the team lineup. You don't see what ships they have until you spot them. Yo, why is EU not doing this shit? Hello? Why is EU? This is like, this kind of shit makes brawls fun. Why is EU not doing this? One versus one, this is giga boring. I don't know why they still do one versus one. It's all it's all Schlieffens and Klebers and shit. It's giga boring. Uh, four versus four, tier four, six ships. No, but these two are the most interesting one. These two, these two brawls. This December. Oh, it's during uh, before Christmas and before New Year's. These two, we're 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 gonna be playing on Russia when these two are live. I want to try that. This seems like a lot of fun. This actually seems like a lot of fun. Unique upgrade for good and glue. Let's go. Okay, strike aviation control systems. Modernization will increase the effectiveness of airstrike. Wait, they're actually going through with this. One more strike with minus 30 reload. Okay, I'm buying that one. Just so you know, I'm fucking buying that. That's going to be absolutely hilarious. I'm buying that one. That sounds fucking fun as hell. Yeah, we're definitely buying that one. We are definitely buying that one. Uh, ship carousel changes. The appearance of the ship carousel in Porto has been updated. Porto in port. Okay. The quality of display ships has been improved and ability to go to the beginning and the end of the carousel by double clicking on the transition arrow has been added. Okay. Oh, shit. Yo, wonder this actually looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty good. Hmm. Animated background. Oh, they got the entire art department chat. They got the entire art department. We lost. We lost. We lost. Animated background for profile combat missions daily rewards. The holiday rewards tab will also get an animated background. Oh no. We lost. We lost. It's Jover. It's Jover. They're getting UI improvements and animations. It's Joe. They're get they they're getting the better ship models. They're getting everything. We lost the EU lost the art department. Fuck me. We lost the art department. It's Jover. 
We laughed at the Russians, but they laughed back. Yep. Better ship models? Yeah, they got the the Michelangelo. Uh, it looks 10 times better on Russia than it does on EU. Okay. AI bots. That's the same thing we got. That's the same thing they're doing on, on EU. That's exactly the same thing. Oh, bots will also be able to stop shooting and hide from opponents and will stop in their own smoke. So they're objectively better than the player base. Updated display of aircraft on catapults. On a ship in battle and in port has been changed. Airplanes will occupy all available catapults and accordingly take off from them. Bro, they're getting all the visual updates. This sucks. This fucking sucks. They're getting all the visual updates. Oh, fucking hell. Oh shit, I'm gonna be I'm gonna get these badges by the way. Best destroyer, best cruiser. I'm gonna get the uh the battleship one, the cruiser one, and the destroyer one. I'm gonna get all three of these, because I was I was on the leaderboards for all of them. Pog. Pog. The standard permanent camo evolution in which the ship was originally announced and which was replaced during testing. The camp whoa. Wait, is this one coming out on on EU. That thing looks pretty good. Probably not. Fuck. Leona will no longer be available for purchase for doubloons and armor as well as obtaining at the same time. Bro, this sucks though. This this sucks because they, they got the they clearly got the art department. They're getting visual updates everywhere. And uh, we're getting shit. They're getting interactive port animated commanders uh animated fucking backgrounds in in the, in the interface and uh, improved interface looks and just improved visuals on all the ships they're getting we, we're not getting any of that we're not getting any of that they're getting all of it oh and the complete the new models as well fuck